What's up guys and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Today is a pretty special day. Today is a day that we complete our last and final quest within the Alliance map. Now, of course, we don't exactly know what happens after this, but I am almost positive that after this quest, we've got probably a, about another episode and a half, maybe two at most. And then we will be done with this story, with this game. We've been at this for about a month and change. Every recording session, whether the videos may have been about an hour, every recording session has been nearly two hours, some even over two hours due to the traveling and all that. So this game has been crazy long. And although I'm happy to end it, I will miss it. I will miss you guys coming back and hanging out. It's been a good time. It's always sad when you play a game for so long and kind of get attached to it you know and then just gotta end it all but it is what it is anyways today we're not gonna do a long intro we're just gonna get straight into it we're gonna go to the alliance map and uh we'll go ahead and finish the last quest there's nothing to it so let's get to it i want to see the alliance map Whew, man so as you can see here everything has been completely fulfilled <laughs> i am a savage We've got the uh, Snot and Gushmashire. <laughs> this is the last one, level 250. We are level one, oh, 110 or something, 109. I mean, 209. So we're not that far off. I have received a unique summons from Snottinghamshire in the north. From your old friend, Vili. Vili? A name I've not heard in ten winters or more. How is he? Well, it seems. Vili asks that you join him in feast and celebration in honor of his father, Heminger Jarl. A welcome invitation. It will be good to see him again. It is worth recalling that his father, Heminger Jarl, would be a formidable ally. Will you go? We will definitely go. I mean, what other option do we have? Just snoop around our I settlement? I will leave for Snottinghamshire today. Good. They will be pleased. That must have been so tedious. Like... Imagine coming home and then leaving right after to go to another settlement. Jesus, like there's been like 15 settlements we've traveled to or regions. I mean, that doesn't take 10 minutes. You know, you can't get a fucking Uber driver to take you there. You got to go on the ship and it takes days, possibly just hours. But anyways, all right, guys, we are here. I want to say we are. This must be snotting out. Saxon and Dane live in peace. I expected nothing less for land under Hemingway Yarl's rule. Nice. So we're officially here. By the way, um, I didn't show you, but in between the traveling and stuff, I, I kind of didn't include it because it took me a while. But uh, I did upgrade Eivor, like, a lot. We did a decent amount of upgrades. As you can see, the bracers and the boots and all that stuff, I upgraded them to, uh, to the higher quality, right? The higher tier. So we've got the, uh, not the max, but it's definitely up there. We're at the uh, mythical tier. And uh, we also upgraded the hammer. So it changed the appearance of the hammer. I upgraded this as well. I still got, I still got the hood on, the cloak, but I just disabled it so it looks cooler. So you can actually see the bracers and all that stuff. You can see them slightly better now. The good thing about that is that you still maintain the attributes and stats. <laughs> of your gear even if you just disable it it's pretty dope snutting out it will be good to see billy again hmm. this looks like a nice composed Ooh. <laughs> they know me around this part of town very composed but then again that's what we said last time right <laughs> What is this? Okay, hold on. Let's go upstairs. Do I trust my own eyes? Is that truly who I see? Trigvi, you old hound. How are you? Eivor, a friend of old is a good omen. Look at this. Your chin grass might be mistaken for hedges now. <laughs> <laughs> but a healthy Jarl beard, it is not. And what of Billy? I was happy to get his message. I stand in Vili's place today. He and his father have gone to Ulkathorpe to stave off an invasion of Picts. 
We've laid a long siege, and Hemingryal looks to finish the job. I have not fought beside Billy and his father since we were young. They have my blade if they need it. In spite of these war cries, you should know that Vili's father is more frail than last you saw him. How could that be? Hemming a Jarl is an ox. So he is. And he'll be pleased to skull with the moon in his jaws at the sight of you. Come. The swiftest path is by river, but these waters are hostile to Norsemen. You bring good luck with you. We could guide the sales teeds downstream. So these are characters that we don't really know about, but they were part of Eivor's life as a child. I'm ready for whatever danger awaits. Prepare your convoy, and we'll be off. Let's go. Our Jarl has waited long enough. We follow the Wolfkist to the encampment. The Tale of Two Jarls. Well, this will be interesting. This is a really nice settlement, bro. Like, it makes ours look like crap. I've traveled far, spilling the dew of slaughter. A reputation is the price of victory. Aha! Indeed! Bring the sail in! Alrighty. Dock the ship here. We can continue. We got horses here waiting for us too. Damn. Come on, old man. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, stupid? Uh, hello. Okay. Come on. Come on. This. Oh, goodness. I have orders to go to Stone. This game can be but so stupid sometimes. Ahead, so hurry on without me. Billy and Hemming a Yarl will be pleased to see you. Okay, you want me to go without you? Alright. No problem. I will be on my way without you, sir. <laughs> I swear to god, the beginning of this recording has been crazy. There's been so many like annoying little bugs. I'm gonna have a fun time editing this. But anyways, we are on our way to meet our beloved old friend and his father, Jarl, or his father who is Jarl. Here we are. Sheepskin. That there is Eivor the Wolfkist. Eivor! That's right. Hail! We have not laid eyes on you for some ten winters now. Hail, friend. Respect. The picked Freya's kiss. You came. Welcome. Your son sent for me, Hemingyal. One of the happier messages I've had in England. I wish I could expand on this happiness with good news. But we are in the center of a storm. And yet, my old heart sings great songs at the sight of you. You look good, Eifor. Strong. Healthy. Is it good to see you too? You don't look well. My heart sings as well. It's good to see you again. Aye, aye, yours is a poet's heart, I am told. What a mix of spirits you have. Movement on the walls! Hmm. We must end this soon. Before the weather changes. The whole of my clan would be here if you called them. No need. These men are flies for swatting. Even now, Trigfi rides for Stonebird. Should any picks escape, it will all be ended by this time tomorrow. You have known me as your Jarl for an age. I have known and loved you all since you were babes. An easy burden to bear. 
Let's hope you fight better than you age, old friend. You're not slurring, Billy. Have you misled your ale? Today, you do not fight for me. Not for each other. Today, you fight for your children. Fight so that they may grow. I call little so Avors, they may man. Be good and just <laughs> as you are. For them, today, we take back Ulkerthorp. Trick V and Avor have brought us arrows and oil to bring firelight to the Picts, to feed their traps. The first to signal from the top of that tower, their war chief's weapon in hand, drinks my mead for the month. Thor's beard. It's good to see you, Vili. Oh, is it? Or have you come to snatch glory from my callous hands? We can snatch glory together. Unless you're too frightened to fight beside me. Oh no, this is a contest now. To the top of that tower, and the pig chief is the prize. Old times, then. And new alike. Fight, Heminger sons. Bring victory today. For tomorrow, we feast. Alright. There we go. Find and kill the pig chief. He might be holding up in the tower. We just gotta find the chief. That's all we gotta do. Where is he? Up top? Bro, I don't have enough health for this. This is not good. <gasps> He's fucking massive! There we go. <laughs> this is the only way we're gonna be able to do this. Look at my freaking health. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's fucking huge. Got him. Excellent. That's it. <laughs> well, that was fast. You're injured. No, no, stop, stop. I'm fine. There is more blood here than injury. Pride cannot heal you, Heminger. Only care and bandages. My clan fought well, did they not? You saw it. The heart in these people. How they rallied behind their Jarl. You have that effect on men. They trust you. <coughs> and they love my son all the more. But he lacks the trust of our Danes. I am running out of time to persuade them. You are sick. And you accept it. Unlike my son, he thinks me immortal because he must. He does not want what I have to give him. Was it Billy who summoned me, or you, Emminger? Hmm. I thought you would come faster if it was Billy's name you heard first. I need your wisdom, Mayfor. Your discretion. You have it. Of course. There will be a thing soon, in which the nobles must name a new Jarl. And I am torn. I would have my son follow in my steps, but he is reluctant. He follows his warrior's heart. Others will name Trikvi. A fine man with a mind for leadership, but his lineage is tattered, and he is less bold. Gerald in his village, right? Ooh. I have known Billy since we were small. He's bold and courageous, and your warriors love the man. The nobles should choose him.
Philly departs for kinder downfall soon. Ride with him, and talk like old friends made new. If I see any Valkyries lurking nearby, I will send them away. I can fight them off a while longer. have to head now down below there he is here we go Billy there you are come ride with me to the falls they are afraid he has gifts to these unforgiving lands all right but if I don't faint at the sight of them you've oversold the view follow Billy Come on, old friend. What are you doing? Come on. You fight with impressive skill, I should say. I taught you well. <laughs> you taught me how to fight empty air, Billy, and trees and snowdrift and the like. No, I am certain I saved you from a snowdrift once and a murderous tree. That's how I remember it. Any man who would call a tree murderous is a man who's had one too many blows to the head. That tower there, it recalls the broken wall in Norway on the road to my uncle's. Remember? I do. I remember the bite of that winter's chill as we sheltered from the wind for hours. It was you who got us stuck there. Searching for the chickens you let loose before the Yule feast, I'll have you remember. It's good to ride with you again, our stick. I told you, that was meant to be a dragon's tail. It was a woody little twig in my eyes. No dragon's tail. Must I remind you of your own disrobed adventures in the pre-dawn streets of Starvenger? Eivor the Pantless, a head soaked with mead, and many pockets full of vomit. A dragon's tail it was, then. Are you sure you want my father's mead? Not afraid you might wake up tomorrow, naked, face down in a hog's pen. Is that what you call your house? <laughs> that is so awkward. That laugh was horrible. Stonebird. Was Trigve not sent there by father to help? We must go. What happened here? I see smoke. This is no bueno. I feel like Eivor looks a little fragile without his armor on, you know? Is it just me? But look how little he looks. <laughs> fragile as shit. What happened? I came too late to stop this. The Picts set fires and ran. They mean to spite us. There are more people trapped within. Free them, Eivor. Tend the wounded. We'll get them out. I hope, uh, Vili doesn't grow, like, jealous of us. I right, search for survivors. Help! Someone, please! Where are they? Oh, there's one right here. Not necessarily trapped though. You just broke like her ankles or something. Revive. <laughs> That's all it took. <laughs> How do we go in there? 
Damn, look at the freaking moon, huh? It looks like a damn sun. She's picking him up like damn You can pick that man up yet. You can't do this shit <laughs> Okay Thank you, drink. Thank you Not a problem. All right, where else move. are they move get to safety? Where do we have more people let's see Um let me know what let me take the weapons. That way we can see if there are more people. Um I'm not sure if there's more people anywhere here. How about this house? Damn, bro. That's, that's where we came from. How about this one over here? I hear voices all over the place, so I don't really know exactly where to search. Here we go. Leave your things. Get to trick me. You'll be safe with him. Okay, one more house. One more person. They're in there. Okay. How do I how do I get in there? Take my wife, please. Leave me be. No, no, come on, come on. Not me. My wife. Save her first. I have to move fast. Okay, I'm I'll take your wife. She looks like she's fucking gone. She has drawn her last breath. Eivor! Eivor, where are What just happened? Oh my god. <laughs> Eivor, no! Eivor, where are you? Get over here. Oh no, the little girl's parents. Billy, where are you? <gasps> Answer me. Well, they're fucking dead. Oh my god. <laughs> they both died. That sucks. We need to clear the path. Yo, these picks are freaking assholes, bro. I will get the man, Abor. You carry the woman. Damn, dude. If we will have to wait. You are staying <laughs> here today. Oh, thank the old father. Hold on to me. I can get you out. Also, we have to take them to safety and I just throw them outside. Oh. oh man, I just left that poor girl's mom dead in front of her. That's so fucked up. Oh my God. Was that supposed to happen? Or did I really just screw that up? I thought I might have to rescue you, Billy. Had I died, it would have been my time. My fate is already spun. I'm sorry, but you cannot endanger yourselves like this, lords. You have people to lead, a future to consider. The old man has wisdom, Billy. You have the full weight of this clan on your back. My father carries that weight. I do the fighting and feasting, and I am expert at both. It's good to have you watching my back again, Eivor. You see what I deal with, Eivor? The mind of a troll in the body of an Aesir. <laughs> Still the same our stick as when we were children. I'll never change. This is hardly the time for lightness, you two. We have many injured to comfort. Well, that is your domain, Trigvi. I don't wish to be seen as a savior and healer all in one afternoon. 
The waters at Kinder Doonfall will soothe my wounds. If my father needs me, I'll be there. Billy, stop! Eivor, wait a moment. Eminger Jarl has confided in you about his health. He has. He said Vili wasn't taking it well. Vili lives in another world entirely right now. He is cracked inside, and will not face the full truth laid before him. And how are you? Have you braced yourself for what is to come? I... I have made my peace with the future, yes. Worry yourself with the wounded here. I will talk to Vili myself. I <laughs> speak to Vili, the Kinder Downfall is northwest of Stoneberg. What the fuck? Yo, he was just hiding there. What a little scumbag. Uh, let's go find and speak to Vili. He's just pretty much in denial. His father's dying. Okay, I think should be around here. Let me get off. There he is. Perfect. Eivor, you found my secret haunt. I would be deaf to have not heard you singing. Your crow's cackle could awaken the dead. <laughs> These skirmishes with the Picts have worn you down. Not at all. The more scars, the better the boast. But look at my father, a battle-worn veteran carved up like a goat on a spit. Not a metaphor I would use just now. Not in his state. These waters are magnificent, no? They comfort and heal. They are Freya's gift to man. Billy, you need to face it. Your father is dying. When he departs for the corpse hall, you will take his place, as expected. The novelty of this soggy north has worn on me, Eivor. Too warm for winter living, too cold for summer. I've heard Mercia is my talent. Dense forests, bright colors, thriving streams. Is that how it is in your settlement? My clan could use your strength, your responsibilities here. You are to be Jarl, Billy. Your father expects it. The people of Snuttinghamshire expect it. I only want sun on my skin and an axe in my hand. Ale and adventure. Not the staid life of a Jarl. You defy a long tradition, Billy. The son takes after his father. That is the way of things. Eivor. I have my own reasons to see you made Jarl. The Raven Clan wants friends in England, and you are among my very best. You do not need me in that seat to secure an alliance. You and Sigurd are beloved here. Your father is dying, Billy. Now is the time to get your house in order. It is not my house. It is the clan's house, and the clan will decide what happens next. You have a chance to end on good terms with your father. I wasn't afforded the same luxury. Don't squander it. Billy! Billy! Come forth! Another attack? It's your father. He hasn't got long. Come to the longhouse! at the edge of death. I must see him before he goes. Oh man. Poor... Oh dude. <sighs> oh, I'll race you down there, bucko. Call up on my horse then. I don't know how that guy was able to call us from all the way down there. And we actually heard him. Oh, 
that sucks. Well, if he, if he wasn't able to believe it before, he's gonna believe it now. When his father is gone. Oh my god. Hey! Are you drunk? This must be no Borrow time. Gotta go inside the longhouse. I would presume. Will Hemingar Jarl go to heaven, mother? I I Oh man. Here we go. Oh dear Hemingar. Our yard. to that feeling and take it with you to the hall of the slain you have become a great warrior a form a warrior and a leader worth worth song and verse i had many good teachers hemminger y'all you chief among them i beg of you now do not let my lessons die. Pass them on. The seer is on her way, father. She has remedies for you. Cures and charms. Oh. oh my god. I held you here, really. In one proud hand when you were fresh from your mother's womb. Yo, this is actually I pretty sad. Dirty hair, boy. Swinging sticks and running through the mud, dreaming of glory. I, I am proud of what you have become, son. <laughs> and I am. of what you will become no matter I, uh, I, uh, uh. <laughs> father really oh fuck sad Talk to me about father son stuff, man. Emotional immediately. We must prepare for the funeral. I'll send for my clan. You call on the nobles of this shire. Nobles have begun to arrive. Trukvi needs our help to see this through. We will be at the funeral pyre, overlooking the village. Find and speak to Trigvi. Wow, man, that was fucking sad. Where is this guy? What do you see, Sinan? All the way over there? Jesus. Alright. That's so what we got a, ho a horse for. Are we attending the funeral or was that the funeral? 
We've got a couple of wild boars here. He's up top, right? Yeah, we're gonna have to climb. Oh shit. Here come the boars. Bet you they can't climb like I can. <laughs> Odin's rest. Here we are. Suniva, thank you for coming. Ah, oh, the sight of old friends lets my heart rest easy. We came as soon as we heard, bearing gifts for Hemming Jarl. The celebration will last many days. How soon shall we begin? The pyre's construction is underway, and all of our guests are lodged and welcomed. We could begin shortly. Good. You handled this well, Trickley. I pledged my life's oath to Heminger Jarl. There is nothing I would not do for him. The all thing must be held when the week is out and the funeral is done. The nobles of this shire will name Vili the Jarl of our clan. This assumes they will be sober after a week of drinking and <laughs> It will be a grand funeral. Father will have a clear view of his lands from here. The flames will burn bright and tall for all the Shire to see. You've done well, Trigve. This was his favorite spot in the Shire. I suppose we should get started. Our guests need looking after. I will look for you later. To save you from them once the mead has really soaked in. You are a true gift, Eivor. Thank you. Trigve is Hemthoth's rock. With him around, the city can keep its peace. He is a good man. I must be away for a short time, Eivor. I want to retrieve something for my father. A gift. When did you have the time to make a funeral gift? <laughs> it was something I had hoped to give him in life. You must see it to believe it. I brought a gift from the Raven Clan. I stored it at the watchtower on the far side of Hemthorpe. Very kind, thank you. I should like to see it. I should look over the gift first. It must be worthy of hemming a yarl. There's a heaviness to your look, Eivor. What troubles you? Hemming had desired my counsel before he died. Wanted my opinion on the future of this clan's leadership. That would be Vili, would it not? If tradition held, yes. Trikvi has tasked me to help the Volva with the sacrifices. Could we speak with her to ease your thoughts? It's a good idea. But let me go alone. Hmm. We might have to choose Trikvi instead of... Set scouts Lily. around the village. The people here must mourn in safety. Wow. Sad days, man. Sad days. This is an excellent shield, sir. And here, from the Raven Clan. An impressive shield. It is good. But it needs a touch of grandeur. Something personal for your father. A setio, I think. A mark to adorn the front. We need an artisan. Is there one in the village? I know a man. A master craftsman in exile. He lives in a cave northeast of Hemsop. I would take you there myself, but I have Isbjorn to retrieve. Isbjorn? Your father's spear? Did he not wield it at Ulkerthorpe? He lost it some winters back on a bear hunt. He hit the beast hard, but the spear stuck and the bear fled into the forest. And after all these winters, you hope to find it again and present it to the pyre. The arts are narrow, to say the least. <laughs> Fret not, friend. I have a nose for these things. Seek out the exile. He'll see to your shield. This is an excellent shield, sir. Gunnar's okay, so where are we going? This way? I guess go to the top and then drop down? 
Find the entrance of Peak Cavern. It is at the east of the Hemthorpe. Yeah, I think we have to go all the way. Oh, no. Just follow the road. Okay, it goes back down. I was going to say, man, what are we doing here? Okay, let's see. All the way at the bottom. Perfect. That's the cave right there. Looks a little creepy, man. What the heck? Billy? Where have you sent me, fool? Are we in the right place, or...? Okay, I'm confused. Search for the exile. Okay. Would that be it? No. Up here. Okay, so there's a ladder there, so for sure. Oh. Look right here. Look no further. Some new titanium. Value is solitude, living in a hole such as this. For real, dude. It's just crazy. I thought a bear was living in here. <laughs> okay, we'll keep going this way. This has got to be one of the craziest caves we've actually been to, to be honest. Odin's beard. You are a difficult man to find. Heminger uh. Jarl is dead. Mm. I was told you are a master craftsman. I seek an etching on the shield to celebrate the life and death of Heminger Jarl. The stones. Heminger Jarl possessed a steady hand and steady heart. Do you possess the same? Shoot. Okay. How about we do one of these? There it is. <laughs> Your heart is not yet steady. How could it be at such a time? Heminger Jarl's heart never wavered. Heminger always had a steady heart. Stop now. Who are you? A friend of Heminger's? Or a man exiled by his order? It does not matter who I was. I am nameless now. I am no one. You have not yet answered me. Will you help me with my etching? How will you remember him? By his strength, by his wisdom. By his wisdom. Always an inspiration. The web of Wirthen. Nine lines that write our fates. Past, present, and future entwined. Is this what you desire? Yeah. Yes. I choose this one. I will begin. I don't know if that makes any difference. Or if it has an impact, the choice, I don't think so. Maybe it's just for design purposes. I probably should have looked at the other designs. How did you come to be here? Fate. 
I was given a death sentence. Unfairly, I felt. But a man was killed. Heming a Jarl desired for me to live. The villagers did not. My sight and exile. That was our compromise. Mm. Thank you for this. His son will take his place. That is for Billy to decide. Lily has no say. Fate has already decided. Well, what does fate will decide? Be with our gift. I wonder if Billy has found his spear. That means orders. Give the good hermit along. I guess we live through here. This is an outrage. Our strong feelings for Hemming come with much festive. Too festive and too soon. Fires, fights, and every man soaked in mead. Ugh, this has gone too far. Hemthorpe could burn before the pyre is lit. Gods, have I failed, my dear Jarl? Peace, Trukvi. I will do what I can to calm things. Fun and calm the guests. Rowdy guests are around. Okay, where are the rowdy guests? Alright, we've got some over here. <laughs> rowdy guests. Hey, hey, you guys need to relax. Door's locked. Got to find a way in there. Up through here. Of course. See, that was not that bad. The people are quite upset. Leave me be. I did nothing wrong. You should walk out of here on your own before you cannot walk at all. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'll walk. I'll walk. Don't hurt me, please. There's a key there. If you open the door, I... I will follow you out. Oh my god! You've got the key! Use it! Oh no shit! You pay for your wrongs, desecrator. Enough. Let him speak to explain himself. I loved Heminger. I swear. I only want him to fly free in the kingdom of God. So you drench his body with your filth waters? Was it your Christian holy water? Of course. I anointed him in the name of the Lord. Uh, you will rock to bless your dead Yara, who cares for a little water. Stop embarrassing. Never inflict your Christian mysteries on a dead Norseman. But I only... These are your neighbors. Respect them. Learn their ways. And you will draw breath long into old age. Oh, no! <laughs> there you are. <laughs> that one of us. They <laughs> beat his ass. Okay, there's two more. The next one is this way. Yep, straight down that way. Damn, she really beat him up, dude. Holy smokes. What's going on over here? You're burning the freaking house. What is this boda you speak of? A gift without price, fit for a Jarl's lips. But hurry, it catches flame. Help, fire, save my food, I burn. That's it. Thankfully, we are uh, resistance to flame. It was too late for your <laughs> your boulder, as you say. Ah, balls! I dragged it all the way from Rus. 
It is back to water ale for me, I suppose. Well, she's kind of If you drunk. drink enough, ale is a fine fix to any problem. Very true, very true. Join me if you desire. Um, a bit of drink in the belly never hurt. No. I got other shit to do, woman. Me. Like actually ass. aiding this little settlement that we got here. I don't got time for drinking games. Besides, every time I do a drinking game, I get my ass kicked, so it's never that fun. Okay, it's this way. This should be the last one. You mean Hemingus famous fighting roosters? <laughs> what? Dragons with mighty claws. Save. Thank you, mighty Thor. You've saved my life. Uh, when you sober up, steer clear of roosters. Some order seems to have been restored. Well, that was easy. Man, those roosters are fucking bunch of cocks. No pun intended. Can we say that? Order so. seems to have been restored. Now to trick me to let him know. There we go. I've calmed the guests as much as they can be in their grief. They mourn. It is to be expected. Still, thank you. And how do you feel, old friend? I mourn more deeply than most, I think. Heminga would be proud of what you have accomplished here. All you have done for him. I hope so. This ache will pass, trick me. With time. Yes. It will. I don't know. I kind of feel like he should probably be Yaro instead of his son. Seems a little bit more caring. With having your yard gone, can Lily hold the reins? Will he guide us through? I want to see who the seer here is. You are the wolf kissed one. <laughs> it's not Valka. The raven of battle whose fame grows with each waxing of the moon. I struggle with the choice Hemingway left for me. I would have your counsel on the matter. A slaughter must be made. Many sheep at the bottom of the sleeping Jutten. Before the pyre is lit. Follow. Okay. Oh, we got sheeps here. Come, creatures. You are to serve the gods and bid them welcome our beloved Hemingoyak with ale and open arms. Bro, what the hell? So we're supposed to kill him. I guess maybe when we get up there. Only if sheep's new. Do you have the gift of foresight, Seer? Can you argue what is to come? I see what need be seen. When it need be. A great gift. A great burden. Did Heminger Jarl consult you often? Did he unburden his woes? We spoke often. Yet, too often, he left with more burdens than he brought. He worried about the future of his clan. About who would be y'all. Speak less, lest our words draw foul spirits to dog us. As you wish. This has got to be one of the most beautiful parts of the entire game that we've been to. Like, oh my god. Volva, I... Your heart is restless. Your mind clouded. You seek more than a guarantee of good omens. I seek the gods' wisdom. You wish to know who would best serve this clan as Jarl? I do. Between Vili and Trukvi, there's no clear choice. We stand in the shadow of the giant, the great keeper of secrets. Here, you'll find a drink of the resounding sea. Ascend the sleeping Jotun, consume the waters, and meditate at its peak. 
Do not seek answers to your questions. They will find you. Explore the sleeping giant. Uh, Seer mentions meditate at the peak. Okay. Up there? In my eyes, Zunan. I hope I'm right. I don't want to be climbing all of this fucking huge mountain for no reason. It's got to be the peak. Okay, can we keep climbing through here? Looks like we can. Okay. Maybe we'll go through here. Excellent. Okay, now this is getting a little crazy. A little bit out of hand here, I'll be honest. But I believe we are at the peak. And with that said, we can also synchronize. Good. This is the summit. To seek an answer, I should clear my mind and still my heart. Let me sync up first. That'd be really dumb for me not to sync up here. Look at this, man. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. reached Odin's Hall. I've well in time. As the flames of my pyre burn, I will ride the path of wood smoke to the All Father's Hall of Champions. I am grateful to see you once more, Jarl. I struggle with the task you set before me. To choose your heir is not an easy thing. One man is beloved, but does not want the task. The other man is fit for the task, but is not favored. I could not give you any more counsel in life, A4. So too in death am I rendered silent. Forget wise counsel and rational arguments. What does your heart tell you? My heart is stopped. It says nothing. This should not be my decision, Heminger. The choice was always yours to make. You were their chief. As Sigurd is your chief. But that does not quench your appetite for glory as you covet his place upon the high seat of your clan. I do not seek to replace Sigurd. Fate weaved our futures long ago. We are only following its pattern. Yet you see it coming. You welcome it. Shall I renounce my faith then? Abandon the path to glory I walk? No. I want you to die in defense of it. What, what the fuck? What the hell? What the freaking hell? Why are we? Fr <laughs> what the freaking heck? Now I don't know why Avor is doing this. Wow, this is fucking cool. 
Oh no. You left me too soon, Hemingayal. Your shire's fate is uncertain. I trusted you to make the right decision. I still do. I never intended this. <laughs> have no regrets, Eivor. You have given me the great battle death I sought in life. You old fox. Was that the point of riling me up? Consult the Volvo. And were your questions answered? Some questions were answered. Others, I must answer myself. Do you think there is a place for Vili in our settlement? He expressed a desire to live and work with us. Will he not be Jarl of this Shire before the day's end? That remains to be seen. Some are more eager to see Trickvi in the high seat. Eivor, Trickvi has no intention to lead. He feels duty-bound to follow his master into death. Absolutely not. My father would never allow such foolishness. How else can I honor my Jarl, old as I am? This is no country for me. The future is yours, Vili. The frames of this pyre will burn for my father. You must live. I forbid you to follow him into death. I will not let you sacrifice yourself. Do you forbid me as a friend, Vili? Or as our new Jarl? As a man who would see you come to your senses. Vili. Shook me. Each man wears one of Hemingas boots, with both men unwilling to seize the other. Does the world need such useless, dithering men? <laughs> Why not stake a claim yourself? Take this shire of your own. It is not my place. Your place is anywhere you lay your head, any hill you summit, any silver you take for your own. Do not limit yourself to niceties. Nottinghamshire deserves a leader to admire, a man the people can trust. Most love Billy, and he loves them, but he lacks the will to be leader. He could learn, but does he wish to? And trick me. Sturdy and wise and loyal to the legacy Hemminger Jarl left behind. Almost to a fault, but he is old, and his thrill for living has fled him. Hardly inspiring. You cannot! I will not allow it! 
I am not asking for your permission. Only your forgiveness. Gods, Eivor, put a stop to this fool's death wish. Hmm. So, can't lose another. Do as he must, Trig V. I want to say no. This is no small decision, Trigvi. And not without great cost. The Shire will be diminished without you. But I... I have nobody left. My life's purpose lies dead upon that pyre. That is not so. When people look to my father for guidance, who did they see him turn to for counsel? Heminger Jarl was my rock. Yes, I gave him counsel, but he made the hard choices. If Heminger were here, would he not urge you to wield this wisdom for the betterment of all? Was your vow to serve Heminger Jarl unto death, or to serve his legacy in life? I will stay. You have wisdom, Eivor. More than I could have guessed. I like him, dude. I feel like this guy should be Yarrow and then take wisdom from not wisdom, I'm counsel from 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 the older man. The same thing occurs. Same process, just a different Yarrow, which is the sun. Eivor! <laughs> Suniva! Picts were spotted moments ago, lurking in the thicket. Uh -oh. Billy gave chase. Ah, oh, stick. He should have roused me first. Show me where he went. Let us wake the others. The dark is lousing with Picts. I can take them on myself. Tell me where. They're not far. I'll show you. Oh, we'll fucking kill him. His rage has <laughs> Everybody's so drunk. Labor. All this anger, this sadness, it has truly taken form. Our stick was never one to temper his emotions. This was bound to happen. I should have been more vigilant. Do not blame yourself, Drinker. He always had me to watch his back. His children, and again now. If this rampage is what he needs to rid himself of the sick that binds him, I will at least make sure he does not hurt himself. <laughs> Thank Odin he has the mighty wolf kissed as his shadow. There are things we do for family, Sunima. No questions asked. For you, I would have done the same. For any of the Raven Clan. We know, Drengur. That is why we are sworn to you. Here, Eivor. This was where Vili saw the scout killed and then charged after the enemy ahead. I will head back to Hemthorp and make sure our Ravens stand vigilant. I will head back to Hemthorp and make sure our Ravens stand vigilant. Okay, you said that already. Old mine hideout. Show me. Fucking guys are crazy. I will kill them all myself then. You stupid snake. I don't know if we're gonna need this key, but that works. Let's get it. <laughs> it's probably freezing. Cold as hell. Look, look, they're fighting over there. All right, let's get it. Hopefully that key does uh, unlock something useful. If not, I'm going to feel pretty dumb. It was a waste of time. You guys are gonna fucking die. I'm already leveled high enough that you guys are no longer a challenge. Maybe you are, maybe you're not, who knows? But I will let you know that I will put up a fight. <laughs> if 
Billy. Come on now, man. That'd be cool if we were become uh, the Yarrow of this part of town. I think that'd be cool. You fucked up, big guy. So have I. That's how. Huh. It's thunder. Footsteps. We need to fall back. Follow me. Quickly. Bro, look at these guys. Uh. Bro, there's a bunch of them here. And of course. My axe made noise and everything went to shit. open this up what do we have in here well there's a book of knowledge there Ooh. hold on hold on a book of knowledge the ultimate balance technique Places right here. Ah, shit! Shit! How the fuck do I get up there? Powder trap. I'll look into that later. Right now, we've got a friend in need. A friend that needs our help. And he has been murdered. I need to go revive him. He's been murdered. Come on, Billy. Your father would be disappointed in you. Do you not know that I had a vision with your father and I kicked his ass? Yeah, these people are weird, man. Uh, what the fuck was that? Got him. Yeah, that, that, that works. Sure, Eivor, why not? I think that's all of them, right? Oh my god, how many of these fucking picks are there here? Stop on your ass. And then stab you to death. Why? Because that is the Viking way. <laughs> that worked so fucking perfect. All right, Billy, check this out. Wait, can I not use that again? Oh, damn. I cannot but think that when I call this man Billy, I think I'm calling him Billy. I don't know why. It just sounds funky. Maybe that was the Viking name for Billy. Billy. You know? It makes perfect sense if you really think about it. Anyhow, we're out of the mine. Where's this guy, bro? Come on, dude. You're fucking wasting time here. Let's go. Thankfully, I was able to use the lift again. Sometimes parkouring up could be a pain in the ass. I should have assassinated him. <laughs> 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 
Yo, the spear is fucking awesome. Yeah, don't worry about me, Billy. I'll, yeah, I'll do it by myself. Definitely not good. Well, rip. Save your honey words for when we get out of here alive, our stick. Odin's hobble. Ah, my sword's thunder hammer. That quickened the blood. Wild and reckless, like our first battles together. Remember the island north of Stavenga? I do. Kjertve the Cruel trained his berserkers there. Great lumbering fools, foaming at the mouth. We taunted them from the treetops. <laughs> and the drunk one, remember? Naked as the morning. Froze his cock off trying to find us. <laughs> then fell to humping a snowdrift. <laughs> <laughs> Were you glad to hear from me? I did wonder what trouble you'd been up to. But I smiled at hearing your name. And I wondered if you had taken after your father. If you were now leading your clan. Well, you have your answer. I'd sooner take after a troll and leave this clan in your hands. That I will not do. That would be cool. When my father was named Jarl, he had no one to help him, and still he triumphed. But I am not my father. I... I simply want to roam. Do you think Slipnir would be content bound to a stable? No matter how glorious it may be. Hey! <laughs> what is that what the for? fuck? You have friends, Vili. And what about Trukvi? And me? And your clan? Of course. I know that. You can't roam forever. Keep that in mind. You are surrounded by those who love you. And that will not change. Unless you push it all away. You... You speak a truth. I understand. Troll faced our stick. <laughs> but you can Draugr. Is such a thing possible? For that does not seem possible. Voda, too. A warder infused with fire. I do not lie. <laughs> Your father's death aside, Willy. This has been good. Fun, even. Do you ever wonder what might have happened if we had not been separated by the North Sea so early in our lives? What adventures we would have had. The raids, the battles, the glory. I even think about what we might have been to each other. No, I never dwell on our past that way. I find <laughs> it slows me down to crawl. Billy, come on, man. What are you doing, I'm bro? I'm made for crawling. Let's do that brick wall, son. Calm down. I think I'll turn in. Long day ahead. If we were playing with the female Eivor, that would have been perfect. I would have liked to have seen that. Are you going? Uh, with so much on my mind, I haven't slept a wink. The funeral, the fanes. I should get back. I understand. I'll see you there.
funeral preparations are in order. Be patient, Hemingway. Yeah, Eivor. My father sets forth on his final voyage. May the winds favor him. The nobles have offered up their funeral gifts. All but you. Present what you have, and the celebration may begin. I have it here. shield bearing the sign of the web of weird woven into this shield as you wove your spirit into our lives may the skulls sing of you as the gods embrace you feast my friend in the halls of the free and brave stand at my side Speak from your heart, Hemingson. He's so much bigger than Eivor. Fuck. Well, he's a little bit further, but still. Today dude. we mourn the passing of Heminger Jarl of Nottinghamshire. My father. Our father. He was a towering force. If he gives us Jarlness, I'm gonna. Now gone. Yet together we are the example of his greatness. I see him in each of you. His love for battle, but also peace. For wisdom, sorrow, and joy. His generosity, his spirit. In you I see his life and his love of drink. Fucking fox. Gods, did he love drink? <laughs> we are these things because he was these things. Father, we shall be to our children. What you were to us. And when they are ready, we will meet you again. Give him a fine farewell. Suniva, ride to Hemthorpe and prepare the longhouse for the old thing. The next Jarl will soon take his seat. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna have to fight like an invasion or something. Usually that's what happens. Do a couple quests, and you're about to like settle and finish, and then you there's an attack, and then you gotta fight off that attack or attack a place, and then you come back, and I don't know. We'll see. Have they given their jarl a fine farewell? They have. None drink so well and so deeply as Clan Hemingerson. The declaration of succession must happen soon, before we are too drunk and exhausted to remember our names. I agree. Call on those who must attend. 
The old thing will begin shortly. That'd be cool if this was our clan. Our, our settlement, you know, if we were like the Yaros of this area, that'd be pretty dope. It's a nice spot. One of the nicest one, honestly. Eivor! You look uneasy. <clears throat> Burdened by grief. Drowning in need. And paralyzed by a sword. I stand between that man and Yardu. You stand side by side, really, and one of you must step forward. My father placed us side by side because he trusted your vision. So what do you see? I wouldn't mind taking him, but... I think he should follow. He should follow his drunk as you are. I see before me a man full of passion, vigor, and a love for his people. I see a yarl. Your burden will get easier to bear. Take your father's seat and make it your own. I will. Good. Now let them know our stick. <laughs> our stick. <laughs> People of Hemthorpe, of Ulkethorpe, of Snottingham. Today I pledge myself as my father was. I shall be your Jarl. Heminger was a hero, not for who he was, but for the people he led. With Trigvi by my side, with all of you, we will have glory. You have already awesome. learned that people prefer shorter speeches to long ones, Billy Jarl. Really are. Take time to wear that title with comfort. My father never swore a formal oath with your clan. There was no need, for you are family. Let it be known the Hemingers and Clan Raven are true sworn friends from this day forward. Do you accept? No shit. <laughs> what is I. Well, be fair, be just, and call upon us often. Our stick. I'm sure I will. That's done, guys. Next episode will be the not the last one, but want to know about this. It is time I return to the settlement. Next settlement will be the episode where Oh man, might be the ending or the one after for sure, 100 percent But we will finish this game within the next two episodes. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. And uh again, just thanks for the support. Love. Really appreciated, and I will catch you later.